changing the world one day at a time. Making it better, one choice for a lifetime. Deciding the future space before it's too late. Rethinking at the rate for the world to elevate. This is Rethinking Now. Preferences from home interface. Systems are now fully operational. The world is bound to many problems, say strong typhoons, forest fires, or even earthquakes. Everything may seem natural, but sometimes we face our own problems. In life, we make our own choices, and often do we choose what is easier. But we should bear in mind to never associate convenience with negligence. With everything fast-paced, transportation is indeed vital. However, in the pursuit of economical supremacy, where do we draw the line for environmental dependency? With this, we asked a number of students the question, what mode of transportation do you take to school? Wireless Heli, 3 BS management, and I get to school by either driving my own car or being driven by my driver. A private car and a driver. By driving my car or having my driver drive. My driver, walking. Just by walking. or private car. From the responses and considering a one student is to one car ratio, six out of ten students take private vehicles to go to school. Extrapolating from this data, 8,700 students translates to 8,700 cars that come in and out of the campus. Again, I repeat, 8,700 cars. Imagine, 8,700 cars in school, and this one right here produces an average of 14.9 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions every day. Doing the maths, that is approximately 130 thousand kilograms of CO2 emissions produced in campus alone every day. The effects? The choices we make beg the consequences we take. By now, it is time to rethink these choices. Say for example, this road. If this were completely car dominated, carbon dioxide emission would be a peak. However, if we utilize public transport like buses that only emit 6.35 kilograms of CO2 per day, then carbon dioxide emission would be relatively lower. Moreover, Taking the shift to bicycles, promoting an even healthier lifestyle, drops carbon dioxide emission to zero and even improves road space for everyone. Imagine the possibilities if we start rethinking our course of actions today. Everything is interconnected and transportation is only one aspect. However, this single entity transcends its impact to a wide range of aspects. Change is constant, and it will remain stagnant if there is no will that drives it significant. Changing the world one day at a time. Making it better, one choice for life. Deciding the future space before it's too late. Rethinking at a rate for the world to elevate. This is Rethinking Now!